what's going on today? It seems like there's a lot of news about hardware and stuff like that. I guess the first one I saw was related to a drone. DJI releasing an FPV drone. I think that was expected, but you can see pictures that people were leaking online here. I guess like this person wrote, looks like a spaceship. Someone who got evaluation didn't keep their NDA. It looks like it comes with the goggles and the drone itself. It looks kind of interesting actually with the design. It looks a lot cooler in my opinion. But that said, it kind of reminds me of the Inspire for some reason, especially with some of the angle that they show on the shot, except it's like a miniature version. I know they keep saying Mavic this and Mavic that usually now when they name stuff like the Mini, although they took that out recently. But yeah, again, this one reminds me more of the Inspire type of design with the box shape and all that. Are people in the FPV world excited about this? Or are you more into just building it yourself still? Because I would imagine this will make it a lot easier for people to get into these types of drones. Because nowadays, I would assume most new people getting into it are doing it more for cinematography or just taking pictures. So this could introduce, I suppose, more people to the racing aspect. Then again, I'm not sure you want to actually race this one, so to speak, like in an actual sporting event. I would imagine it's more, again, for cinematography and stuff like that. I could be wrong. Then again, I don't really fly this stuff. Of course, there's always stuff like regulations because with stuff like this, it's technically illegal for you to fly this by yourself. Let's just say you're in an open field, you wear these goggles on. Oh, you don't have line of sight anymore. It's illegal, which is a little ridiculous and needs updating in my opinion. I know for a lot of people who just get into drones with things like DJI, you have all those assistant modes, the GPS stabilization stuff. Usually if you take that away, they'll really be terrified just with the controls. Which makes me think, because there's an article today how in PEI, this says here the RCMP is training for more officers to fly drones. Essentially they're saying it's more effective in terms of speedy investigations, it's a lot cheaper. Although this quote made me wonder because he says here quote, I enjoy flying a drone, it's very useful for us at crime scenes. So, I don't know, the fact that a police officer says he enjoys flying it, it makes me wonder because it's so new. Maybe for a lot of these people, when they do it for the first time, like law enforcement, they're getting the thrill out of it. Where if you're using it for professional purposes like that, I would assume you should be desensitized to it. It's just, oh, I'm flying this up there now. Wow, this is so cool. Actually, that would kind of explain how that first ever drone crash here in Canada, the tangible one with the RCMP crashing into the helicopter, that would explain how that would happen, actually. Because they're so amazed and they're not experienced in actually flying them. Like they say here you need more training, but it's not through the, with the way the system is currently here in my opinion, teaching you all about manned aviation stuff. It's about actually getting experience in my opinion, like hands on. And for the other hardware stuff I read, I guess new processors are coming out for phones as is expected. It's almost the new year. This one, it says here, the Snapdragon 888 is Qualcomm's latest premium CPU for smartphones. In reading this though, it seems like they're going to have a lot more features to make things like capturing photos and stuff a lot better. I'm actually waiting for the day where this little thing can replace completely like a really high-end camera. And it says, phones with the Snapdragon 888 would be able to capture photos at 2.7 gigapixels per second, the company said, which should translate to 120 photos at a 12 megapixel sharp per second. That's up to 35% faster than the last Snapdragon processor. So it's a lot of, I guess, innovation and stuff and progress coming with things like processors and phones. And I actually read how Samsung and AMD are going to partner up to make a processor with great graphics and all that. It's not coming out next year to my knowledge, but it's interesting to read this, I guess, with what Snapdragon is going to do, because they said they are going to target things like gaming performance and stuff too. It says the latest Snapdragon chipset uses an Adreno 660 GPU, which would be capable of things previously reserved for desktop gaming, like variable rate shading. It'll also deliver a 35% increase in graphics rendering speed. Always nice to see innovation and stuff like that.
can bring squirrels with you with peanuts and if you want to bring people or just put up a Pokemon and they'll <laughs> gather up. Alright, see you guys later.